We're in Genesis chapter 2 today, and Genesis chapter 2 sort of, well, it picks up where chapter 1 leaves off, but it's a totally different kind of retelling of the creation story. In chapter 2, you don't have on the first day or the second day. It, it leaves all that out, and it starts with the earth already being formed. And probably the, the greatest thing that occurs there is that God creates man, and gives a description of how he does it, and he creates woman. In chapter 2, I want to read this verse for you, verse uh, 7, that says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. God creates him, and then he creates a garden in, in this place called Eden, and he puts man in there tells him to take care of it, and he sets some boundaries. He goes, all of this you can have, and, and name the animals, and all of this, he says, but in the midst of the garden, there's the tree of the knowledge of the good and evil. You can't partake of that. So God creates him. He, he gives him authority over the animals. He gives him a job, so to speak, in the garden to tend it, to take care of it. And then he does something amazing, because man's lonely. He's got animals, he's got work, he's got God, but still something missing from his life. So we have this verse. And the Lord God said, it's not good that man should be alone. And so here's what happens. I'll make him a helper comparable to him. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast and all of that. And, and he calls Adam to, to, to have a deep sleep. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in the place. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made into a woman, and he brought her to man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, and she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. And then it says this, they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. So you've got this crazy picture in the garden. You've got these people without clothes. You've got this tree, you've got animals. And, and when woman came into the picture, well, in many ways, that's when the drama began. Man and woman began this pilgrimage in earth. And from this point on, things get amazing. God has his creation. They'll begin to multiply. This is the story of man. I mean, isn't it interesting that God gives us the answer to where we came from, how we came to be on this planet, and how it fell and how it got to where it is today. Genesis chapter 2 reveals to us where you came from, I came from, our earthly parents, Adam and Eve, and how they fell. And what goes on from there is the remarkable, amazing story of the redemption of man through Jesus Christ.